So the next um, point that we'll be going through is invoice recognition, new feature of SAP. Thanks, Yara. So, um, yeah, so it's it's uh, it's a service uh, that runs uh, SAP runs in the cloud, and it's called the Document Information Extraction Service, or in short form, DOCS. What that allows you to do is get a supply invoice, um, and you know you scan it. It be either a PDF or a, or a JPEG or something of that sort. What you do is you copy that uh, that particular PDF into a predefined folder on your on your server. Um, the the um, the service within SAP is uh, is monitoring that folder, and when it finds a new file, what it does is picks it up and sends it um, into the cloud. To the uh, to the SAP's uh, box service, um, and so what that and then it comes back the data comes back uh, to SAP. SAP then reads the data and then works out um, what to do with it next. And it'd be one or two things: it'll either be a transaction that has an existing base document, and, and if that's the case, it'll attempt to map it to you know say a purchase order or a could receive the L, or it'll recognize that there aren't any base documents, and I'm just going to move forward. And uh, and per perhaps uh, you may need to specify GL accounts to map because it's a service type document. So that that in a nutshell is what this does. This particular solution has been available since um, Feature Pack 2102, but there have been significant improvements delivered um, in the next couple of feature packs. And it's uh, something worth exploring now. Now, note that the actual service in the cloud is a paid service. It's not. It's not a free service, but uh, I think it's 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 fairly uh, economical. The pricing is. Um, and you can talk to your account manager around that. Um, but it, it runs on uh, the SAP's business technology platform or BTP. Um, some of the prerequisites in uh, making this work is you you do have to uh, have. Uh, D1IF and uh, the electronic uh, document framework service installed. I mean, these are all standard installations, uh, but there's a little bit of configuration you have to do inside the uh, EDS or EDF service, as well as um, I, there is a little bit of configuration inside SAP Business One as well. So, you know, under your administration, system initialization, document settings, there is a tab called the electronic documents. Uh, tab um, and in there you've got to sort of turn this particular service on or, or this particular feature on and then there are some settings and parameters that you have to supply based on your account that you've set up uh, within the BTP platform so so there is there is a little bit of setup but once you've done that then you can start making use of this service so let's let's have a look at how it actually works so, um, so go and find a couple of invoices that I've got. So I've just set up a couple of invoices uh, from two different uh, suppliers. So the first one I've got is a supplier called Anthony Smith, and you know he's he's just my aircon repair person, and you know he's he's sent me an invoice for two thousand dollars here. The next one is an invoice from. Another supplier in this in this supplier I'm buying product from. So they're they're Acme Associates, and you know I'm I'm buying a couple of printers from them, and that's that's the invoice that they've sent me for that. And note that I do have a purchase order with them in relation to this invoice. So what happens then is um, you you've received these invoices, you copy them, and you place them into the predefined folder that SAP is uh, monitoring, right? So I've got it here. So I place it into that folder. SAP is going to monitor that and, oops, it's already it's already taken it. It found it found a couple of files. It's, it's identified that they were there. And if I look in the processed folder, I'll see a couple of files. Now, if you're a bit technical, you'll notice if I open this file up, um, and firstly, if I open it now, 
it really doesn't have a lot of information. It's saying status pending. So somewhere in the cloud, SAP is now reading this, trying to decipher the data inside the files. And once it's sort of worked out what's in there, it's going to return the data back. So I can already see that one of the files has been processed because the size of the file has gone larger. It's now seven megs before it was one meg or seven KB before it was one KB. If I open up that file, I'll see a lot more going on here. So it, 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 it sort of found the information, it's positioned the data, it's saying, well, these are all the values I'm seeing inside the file, and I'm, I'm sending this raw data back to you um, in, in, in sort of a JSON format, which is you know, some sort of a technical format. Uh, for those programmers amongst us, they'll know what that means. But what then happens is your accounts payable person back in SAP would come in, they go into the purchasing area, and they'll run the electronic document import wizard. You come in here, so there's a little, little bit of setup involved. You know, by default, the system's already configured to say, I'm going to create AP invoices. And then there's some technical configuration as to how it's going to read the data that's coming back in the JSON file, what fields are getting mapped to what areas, um, and so on. So, so what, this is sort of a default configuration. And then from here, um, if you see this upload files option, if, if, you, if you receive the same data from some other source, if you had some other sort of uh, image recognition system that, um, you know, would return the data in the same format. You could select a file uh, from 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 that folder, but um, by default, if you sort of process through, it has recognized. And now let's look at what we've got in this in this particular grid here, right? So you can do a little bit of filtering here. You can also see what information you want to view. So you can just say, you know, I just want to see files that have been determined. Determined means that SAP has sent the data back and we it it has been successfully mapped back in SAP, uh, back in SAP Business One. You can also see if anything has errored out. So this is a previous one that I had that had errored out. And it's what, what the reason it errored out is saying, well, it looks like you had already previously imported this file. Are you sure you really want to reprocess this? I, I don't think so. This should fail. Um, and then it could be aborted because you've decided you're not going to go ahead with it. But let's just look at the ones that have been determined. So you can see um, the details. You can see the supply that it's mapped to. Now, if I keep moving through the process in here, it's now showing me the mappings. So on the first one, it's saying it couldn't actually match it properly, right? Even though it found the supplier and it knows the total, it hasn't been able to match it. So let's just expand on this and see why it couldn't match it. Well, it's basically saying, I cannot see an item code relating to this. So if I, if I clicked on this link, I can see the underlying invoice and I can clearly see that this doesn't for a product purchase, right? This was some sort of service that I did. Well, you know, it was my egg on repairment. So in reality, it, it won't be able to automatically match it anyway to a product. I can see the rest of the information is correct. I can see the totals and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So what I can do then is I can say, well, let's not skip it. Let's generate it as a service type document. And then I can go in here and I can say, well, let's see what expense account I'm going to code this to. It's probably, let's say, building maintenance. And I'll do the same on the next line there. I'll, I'll code that to building maintenance as well. So that's that's on the first one, the service invoice from our, our air con repairman. The next one there is fully matched. Everything got matched and it also recognized that there was an underlying purchase order linked to this, right? It recognized that this purchase order had the same products, um, similar price, and, and I'm going to go with it. I could also change my mapping. So if I wanted to, I could go and say, actually, you know, clear that base document. I'm going to select something else 
and, and all those types of things. So I've got, I've got more options here as well in terms of mapping. But if I'm happy with what SAP has now mapped for me, I simply go next. And now it's created two AP invoices for me, which I can then go and review. And I'm, if I'm happy with the data that it's uh, producing, I can add that as, as, a, as a real document. The other thing you'll notice is in the attachments tab, it's got the PDF that was pushed through. Um, and in the electronics document, you can see you know, what had happened through the process as well. So I can add that. And then likewise, on the next one, note this one here had an underlying purchase order. And you can see it's already recognized that it's based on the purchase order. I can go back and look at the purchase order. And likewise, it's got the attachments and so on. And I can then create that as well. 